Good morning, everybody. It is May something. I think it's May 18th. Anyways, um, rained a little bit yesterday. Not a whole lot. Uh, no rain today. This is a Saturday. Um, it's clear today, Sunday, which is tomorrow, and Monday. Uh, today and tomorrow is supposed to be nice and sunny. Monday's partly cloudy, and then Tuesday's supposed to be a little bit more cloudy with rain Tuesday night or evening. So, I'm going to take a risk, and I'm really not ready, but we're going to see if I can get stuff out and get stuff ready as I go. Uh, i got to unpack everything. i got to get the skid steer, the big tractor, the white 2135, the Deutz, the tether, the baler out. Get all that out so I can get to my disc mine, which is packed back in the back. And I'm going to hook it up to the white. The white has been serviced. Uh, I'm waiting on some oil samples uh, to actually arrive to the place. Uh, the Postal Service has lost my samples, I think. So, hey, so we're going to get all that out. We're going to check the disc mine out. I'm, I'm going to try cutting this little four acre patch here. I'm not cutting any more than that because it's going to be a push to get it dry anyways. I'm going to have to ted the crap out of it. And I'm probably going to have to end up putting some preservative on the hay. So, but <clears throat> this will get that done. This field done. That'll be that much I don't have to do when I got good, really good weather. And I hit it all. Um, and the hay's already, you know, past its prime as far as maturity wise. So it needs to be cut as soon as possible. So we're going to see if we can get some hay dry. I'm going to try to get some videos out. My camera is not working. I got trying to see if I can either get it fixed or I've, I gotta buy a new one so everything for now and this video is gonna be from my phone so bear with me but uh, we're gonna unpack some stuff here All right, guys, with everything unpacked, got the disc bind hooked up, not completely. I just got it pinned on, I'm getting ready to hook up the hydraulics. I'm not gonna put the PTO shaft on until I grease it. And I gotta change the PTO shaft from 540 to 1000 on the tractor, which will take about five minutes. Uh, we're gonna check all the gearboxes, check the cutter bar for any leaks. Uh, after I cut this field, I'm, I'm gonna drain the cutter bar and change the oil in it. But I like to do that after it's warmed up some, so this little uh, four acre patch will be perfect for that. And we'll uh, grease all the fittings and check everything out and we'll be ready to start cutting. All right guys, so I just looked at the hay and the ground is not dry dry, but it's not wet and muddy. It is damp, but not bad. White half. Uh, we might be done half since I've done the outside rounds, but uh, here's the hay. 
orchard grass. There is some alfalfa down in there. Um, Kay's having a hard time crossing the windrows there. He's going to go ride a bike with, with his sister. Uh, but I'm actually surprised, especially down there, there's actually quite a bit of Timothy in here. Uh, I don't know about how much there is here, but down there, the Timothy hasn't gone to head yet. So it's a little more difficult to see in the mix. Uh, but whenever there's less orchard grass, you can definitely see the Timothy coming on. But this is going to be some thick, thick hay for sure. And the, he the ground is definitely damp. It's not muddy like a lot of the guys I've been talking to are talking about. But, you know, it's definitely got moisture. You can ball it up in a ball. But it's not terrible. It'll break back apart. So there is potential we could get it dry. We'll see. I am going ahead and windrowing it. Normally do. I'll let it lay today. I don't know. We'll see how well it dries. If the ground can dry out quite a bit today, I might go ahead and tet it at the end of the day. Otherwise, I'll just tet it for the first thing tomorrow. We'll go from there. Here's the rig. Got the Gale 25 12, 24 12, sorry. And the white 2135 running 1000 PTO. This does have the tool speed, but this disbine requires 1000. Plan. Once we, I get done with this, we're going to go in and eat some lunch. And I just got, I had a delivery, so I'm assuming that's probably some parts for my Oliver. I ordered some LED flashing lights. I'm adding flashing lights to my tractor and I'm putting LED headlights and stuff on, which I hasn't had the lights on. I don't know if anybody's noticed that or not, but uh, it didn't have lights on whenever I bought it. Get the swing in here. I need three hands if I'm going to be videoing with my hand. That's where I need my camera fixed, but I just haven't done it yet. I've got it done yet. Man, I'm just ordering a new one. We'll see. Okay, let's uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, this is the last little piece of this field. He's wearing me out. First time he's ever rode without training wheels. He just has a trouble stopping and not falling. Whew. Good job, Cade. All right, guys, I'm already 10. It's the same day that I cut. It's about, I don't know, 6 o'clock, 6.30 maybe. A little later in the day than I wanted to, but uh, I want to go ahead and tent it now because I don't think, I think it'll be later in the day before I can tent it tomorrow, and so I want to be able to get as much drying in early tomorrow as I can to have it spread out. There we go. So I don't remember what tractor or what we ran this on the last time we ran it, but we gotta you look at the teeth here. See how close that is to the ground? I can barely fit my finger under there. 
just needs to be low enough to pick everything up but not scour the ground so and then you adjust that with this threaded piece right here engage the pto there we go this thing generally does a really good job in really thick hay like this guys it's the next day this is a uh, uh, the 19th of May we're getting ready to Ted we just got home from church and eating and everything Cade's gonna run the tractor here a little bit for me obviously not by itself I'll be on there with him and it is drying really good on top we got to get it flipped over though and get some of that it hasn't been on top yet flipped up so we can get her dry how's it smelling Cade Good. good smells like some good good hay huh it smells like a banana like a banana got some breeze blowing probably about five to ten miles an hour out of the south so it's a warm breeze it's about 91 today i think somewhere around in there right around 90 all right cage ready to roll all right here we go guys so we got the 320 back in here and just servicing it got everything greased and uh, I noticed that I had a cap missing so we put one new cap on and this one's got a decent amount of wear so we're gonna see if we can get it off and uh, put, a, put a new one on it uh, the cap number is uh, 624955 alright guys we got that one replaced. I actually took the side snips and cut one side of it to get the old one off. It was being cantankerous. And I put just a little dab of grease on just to make them slide on better because they, they're pretty tight. Um, I tapped that on. You'll see the, the easiest way to get to those was we took our ra rail off here. It's just three bolts, or well, four technically. One, two, this one here, and then on the end. So now we'll Put that back in there and we'll be ready to roll. 
that's it for that video. Thank you all for watching. Again, my name is Ross with Franklin County Forge. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.